Perfect. All right. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. It's been, for some of you, it's been a long process. For some of you, it's been a little bit of a short process, but I am glad to see everyone that's able to join us today um, for our new student orientation on behalf of the UBE staff, faculty, and administration. Congratulations on taking this first step towards completing either your bachelor's or master's degree. Um, it is a pleasure for us to embark in this journey with you, and we are very excited um, to get to know you and that you have chosen UBIS as your institutional choice. Uh, promise you will not regret this decision. Again, we are very excited, humble, and proud to have you part of our student body. My name is Rafael Salazar. I am UBIS Chief Customer Officer. For those that haven't met me, um, hope to get an opportunity to get to know all of you, and most importantly, see you uh, across the stage at graduation. Uh, today, you will have the opportunity to meet some additional participants here at UBIS and learn a little bit more of what to expect, what are some of the resources available for you, and most importantly, ask some of your questions. I know some of you have already done your walkthroughs through our learning management system. So we'll make sure that by the end of this session, we have everything orchestrated, uh, answer all your questions. And if we don't, that we set up a time so one-on-one -on -one we can meet with you and make sure that you are good and ready to go. So, I'll go ahead and get started with our mission statement. I actually love this picture of all of our students outside the campus um, in Geneva. So UBIS is committed to increasing the quality, affordability, and access to tertiary education around the globe. Um, UBIS, the University of Business and International Studies, we aspire to create, build, and enrich lifelong prosperity for the common global citizen by inspiring and advancing self-determination through education. Um, Dr. Shanti, I got all excited and I knew you were supposed to be presenting this one. Is there anything that you want to add um, after me going over the mission statement? Uh, no, actually uh, you covered it very well. Thank you very much. And uh, I wanted to add that we live, UBIS lives the mission statement. So this is not just a, a couple of sentences that uh, that you know is there for any purpose other than Everything that we do, we, we strive to achieve this and we are measured. We measure ourselves and we are measured by others against this mission statement, not by anything else. So we must fulfill it and we strive to do that every day of our life. Thank you, Dr. Shanti. Oh, hey, so let's talk about our UBIS location. So we have students from over different 50 nationalities from all over the world which represents all of our different logos, as again, we want to provide access to everyone, um, education and access for everyone and individuals from all over the world. So with that being said, we have our global campus, which represents our online modality, where we have, again, and students from all different continents and all different parts of the world, which represents our green logo, which you can see right here in the back of my screen and also right here on the presentation. We also have our campuses in Geneva and Barcelona. Geneva has been, um, even though we're a global university, Geneva has been a little bit of the heart of UBIS. For the, uh, for the last couple of years as we have a presence there. We have our a lot of our students there. We have a lot of our staff there. Um, and it's obviously Mecca for when it comes to globalization. So Geneva, definitely an important part of our institution. And our newly found Barcelona campus, we are embracing globalization. We're seeing a lot of opportunities all over the world. So we're very excited uh, for our Barcelona campus as well. I know we have students here that will be joining us 
um, uh, for Barcelona. So we cannot wait to see you there and perhaps eat some tapas together. Um, last but not least, as you can see also in a logo, we have here in the back, US USA. We do not have a campus in the US in the US yet, but we are growing tremendously as a university. We're partnering um, with a lot of other institutions to continue to provide you access to excellent education around the globe. We can go to the next slide, please. Uh, when it comes to our partners and locations, I mean, as you can see, I just went over the locations. We have partner universities and training centers that we work with from all over the world. So it just doesn't stop at our global, our Barcelona, US, Geneva location. We have partner universities, campuses, training centers that we work with to ensure um, in the event you are traveling or in the event you want to go somewhere else or that we can provide you support anywhere you are. We have partners across all different continents that some of them have been with us for the last 10 years. So we have a presence, a truly a presence worldwide. Um, definitely want to give a shout out. I believe we have some of our students from um, Glasgow University here today or some of our VMA students from AEDP. So welcome, it is a pleasure to see you here today. So when it comes to today's agenda, uh, you'll get an opportunity for those people that you have them to meet some of your academic success team. Uh, we will go over expectations as a student we will go over our resources and any additional questions that you may have and obviously next steps. When it comes to meeting the team, I just want an opportunity to show all my colleagues here to please say hello. Um, there's some people that I know here because otherwise we will take forever introducing, introducing you to people from, uh, from our staff, faculty, and administration. But there are some people that I want to highlight and they're all the ones that are present here. I want to go ahead and, and definitely introduce you. So we do have, um, well, myself, Rafael Salazar, who thank you again uh, for taking the time to be here. Um, I want to mention uh, Dr. Antonina Santalova, who is a director of the UBIS Research Institute. You will be seeing invites for our Sunday colloquiums and our Sunday events. That's something that we're gonna be talking about in a little bit. So you'll definitely be seeing Anth Antonina's, Dr. Antonina's name. Um, she's also the director of our DBA program. Uh, you'll be able, um, Dr. Viola Krebs is actually on, um, she is on medical leave currently, but she is in Geneva uh, and is an academic dean. Um, Katie Hamilton, who's our controller and our bursar. Uh, please do not avoid or ignore Katie. She wants to help you any way she can when it comes to ensuring that your payments are coming in on time, any payment plan assistance, or any questions when it comes to any financial matters. Um, Katie is fantastic and extremely helpful to our students. Um, Dr. Teresa Carpenter, who is one of our faculty members in Geneva, uh, will go the extra mile to help and assist any students. Um, for those of you that joined the roundtable event, please have, um, you definitely had the opportunity to meet her, but it's also on YouTube for those that hadn't, she is fantastic and will provide you with any resource available and definitely make you feel really welcome at the campus. Um, Dr. Um, uh, Mr. Kamal Darashab, who is one of our faculty members, he is between Netherlands and Azerbaijan, you will definitely see him as an instructor. Dr. Carol Summers will join us shortly. Um, Dr. Oscar Gutierrez, who is our um, MSIT Dean, um, who is um, definitely a great resource, a wealth of knowledge, um, who is here in the United States. For the rest, I want you to spend some time and introduce yourself and perhaps some, share some words of wisdom to our students. So Dr. Shanti, why don't I start with you? Thank you, Raf. Um, really apologize because I was on mute for a couple of minutes. Um, once again, I want to welcome, as Raf said, I want to welcome all of you for to start when you're starting a new program. Uh, you'll be a little um, worried 
or stressed or anything like that, it's a brand new thing. Uh, will I be able to do it? It'll be the first question everybody's asking. Um, so, and my, my automatic statement and everybody here will say, yes, you can. Um, the, is it easy? It's gonna be easy? Never is. Anything worth having is never easy. So yes, it'll take effort. It'll take focus. Um, it'll take um, a lot of hard work because uh, you, this, is, this is a program that gives you, that prepares you for careers that you will be able to be very successful in. Uh, we have curriculum that is well-developed and in, in light and tuned with what's happening, what is needed uh, in terms of competencies and knowledge out in the world, in business and international relations and all the other um, disciplines that we teach, uh, computer inter information technology, et cetera. We have faculty members who are eminently qualified to take you from the point that you know, which may or may not be a high level to where you want to be at graduation and a beyond, which is critical for you to understand. We just don't finish with graduation. We continue with that and people be talking about some of the services we provide. But during the time that you're going to be at UBIS, the important thing for you to know is that you have a support structure and network that will help you through this process. Um, not just us, I mean, the people you meet today, because we are very vital in actually making sure you graduate and you acquire the knowledge you need, but also your faculty members. And I'm proud to say that I lead, um, I'm the provost and I lead the faculty at UBIS with Mindy Hamilton, Dean Hamilton and Dr. Fr Carpenter and everybody else. These faculty members are not hired just for their qualifications. Every college and university, they have, they have their qualified faculty members. They have their PhDs, their DBAs and everybody else. But you will see something different at UBIS. What UBIS has are faculty members who really care about their students. And there is no question that we tend to hire people based on that one factor. That's the deciding factor to hire faculty not just the team members you see here. So you will see that Dr. Tuck Carpenter, for instance, will reach out to you if you, do, if you miss a class or miss a homework or an assignment, they, she will reach out to you. And so will everybody else who works for us. We will reach out to you and tell you, hey, where are you? Why aren't you in class? Why aren't you doing your homework? Do you need help? That'll be the question. And a lot of students are sometimes hesitant to ask questions. I don't know whether this is more of a cultural thing or it's more of a sense of, oh, I don't want to ask questions because people will think I'm, I'm not knowledgeable or I'm behind or anything like that. For God's sake, don't do that. Whatever happens, this is an environment, UBIS has an environment that does not judge you. It does not judge you because you don't know the answer. It judges you, doesn't judge you for any reason except communicate and make sure you access the help that we give you. Talk to your faculty. I have, I'll give you a very important example that you should know. We had a student who was in an accident at third degree burns. We, he reached out to us and almost immediately we reached out and said, okay, what do you need? Let's do this. He, he is going to graduate, but the point is that we are there to make sure that nothing happens that will stop you from graduating, nothing at all. But we need to know what's going on with your lives. Otherwise we will not be able to help. So open the channels of communication and tell us. Is there something that's stopping you? Is it something that's an obstacle that stops you from going forward? That's the critical point about UBIS. Another thing that I want you to, um, to understand is UBIS is global, truly global. Very, a lot of uh, regulators from the United States come in and talk to us about the fact that UBIS, its ethos is so global. Other colleges and universities talk about being global, but we truly are in a, in a classroom, you will find people from different parts of the world. You'll find people from Europe, from the Americas, from Africa, from East Southeast Asia, from East Asia, from Eastern Europe, Japan, you name it. Uh, I think RAF has been successful in representing five continents among our uh, population, student population and faculty. RAF, I'm still looking for somebody from Antarctica. Don't forget. So. We're talking about a perspective you guys can bring to the classroom. Don't be shy about it because each person lives in their environment and culture and that culture and sharing of that culture and heritage is extremely important. So please be free and, and make sure that you participate actively in your class to enrich your class for not only for yourself, 
but for your classmates. That being said, I want to see all of you in a couple of years, hopefully in Geneva at our graduation, marching across and getting your diplomas, but definitely graduating and graduating successfully. We are here as an institution and as your family, your educational family to support you through this. So thank you and good luck and have a wonderful journey at UPIS. Thank you, Dr. Shanti. Dean Hamilton, anything that you want to share? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Dean Hamilton. Uh, welcome to college, welcome back to college. Um, we're thrilled to see you here and to welcome you to the UBIS family. Um, I don't use <laughs> that word family lightly. Everybody here supports you. We accept you no matter where you're from or what language you speak. We're excited to get to know you. Uh, you have a wonderful supportive faculty, faculty who I'll speak a little bit more about when it's my turn in a minute, Graf. But I just wanted to say welcome. Uh, and I will keep this brief to keep this moving. And I'll be back in a few minutes to talk about resources here. Thank you, Dean Hamilton. Uh, Eduardo, I know you have, again, you have a speaking part too, but anything you want to say real quick? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, it is a pleasure to virtually uh, have you all here. It is, it is great and it's an honor to, to serve you, to guide you through this wonderful experience in which you will construct your academic and professional path. And in line of the advice of my colleague, the provost, Dr. Shanti Konkot, <clears throat> I, I have a little advice also. I mean, studying hybrid programs or online programs is a bit challenging. You know, we are in our own time zones. We are in our computers all the time. And um, the key here for a successful experience is constant and fluent communication. Like my colleague was saying, we are here for you. We are working very hard to provide you with all the assistant, assistance, uh, help, guidance that you might need at any point, <clears throat> either if it's an academic issue or a non-academic issue. But when we are in this hybrid or online environments, we tend to disengage very easy. We tend to mm, disconnect. We jump from one task to the other. We have jobs, we have families, we have other responsibilities, and that's completely understandable. But making the effort of at the moment you spot that there is an issue, that there is something that you did not understand, or you're, God forbid, you're feeling ill, or you have a family problem, or there is anything at all. If you communicate immediately, the probabilities of having a seamless transition into the solution and moving forward in your academic program is highly likable. So, Again, I want to reinforce this advice uh, given by the provost. Constant and fluent communication. You have student services, academics department, you have admissions department, and also reach out to your colleagues. Um, I know that it's, it's a bit, mm, sometimes it's, it's not easy to, to meet people virtually, to, to connect with them when, when you don't have it in front of you, but you have the platforms. You have Moodle to communicate with your colleagues. You can reach out. For those of you that are going to campuses, go to the campus as much as you can. Even if you don't have an, 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 uh, an on-ground class, even if you only have on that term, you have just uh, online classes, doesn't matter. Go to the campus. You'll meet with your colleagues. You'll meet with your professors there. And the integration and, and, and contact with all the UBIS network is what makes this experience, this global experience, great. So I wish you all great success and thank you for choosing UBIS. Thank you, Edu. All right, so we still have a couple more introductions to the stewards, super quick, so we can move moving with time. Um, Stella. Hi, everyone. Congratulations to you and welcome to UBIS. Welcome to our family. Uh, my name is Stella and I'm front office manager in uh, Geneva campus. 
Um, if you need any help with accommodation, visa, permit, health insurance, or bank account setup, do not uh, hesitate to contact me. I will be more than happy to help you. And one more time, congratulations and uh, good luck. Thank you. Uh, and I noticed, I mean, again, I told you there's a lot of people here that are not on this live, but uh, Tanam, anything that you want to share very quick? Oh, hey, uh, my name is Damon. Uh, and you can call, you guys can call me Matt. Um, um, I've been uh, a UBIS staff member, uh, a faculty member, and also a partner in the past as well. So I'm, um, I held uh, UBIS to, to build the AEDP program uh, in Vietnam. And uh, we have a couple of uh, um, AEDP students here. Um, and congratulations uh, for uh, your admission into UBIS. And um, uh, I would like to also say hello to uh, other students around the world. It just has always been exciting for, for me, <laughs> uh, seeing all the faces, new faces. Um, and um, uh, I know that I'm going to, to have um, the opportunity to talk and to exchange with you the experience as well as the network um, here in, in, in Asia. Um, again, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and I wish you all the best um, with your experience. Thank you. And last but not least, Connie, anything you want to say in two seconds? I will Connie's do my best to say it in mm -hmm. two seconds. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Uba's family. Can't wait to meet you guys all. Anything that you all ever need, uh, whether it's uh, questions about academics, about your classes, if you want to take a semester off or if you have any questions about your current class, if you need to withdraw from a class or if you wanna add a class in the future, please reach out to me. And again, I can't emphasize enough what all my colleagues say, reach out to us with any issues, any concerns, any questions. There is no such thing as a dumb question. All questions are important, no matter how small you think it is, you may be answering a question that many of your classmates have. So please reach out to us, we're all here for you. And again, I'm here for you, anything document-wise, academic, or about your classes. And without further ado, I give it back to Raf. Thank you. Um, it will be very unfair to me without giving a shout out to the admissions team who has been working tirelessly side by side with you to ensure um, that you get all your questions answered, get all your documents on time. So thank you to the admissions team and uh, who's been led by Nicole Janini. Nicole will have an opportunity to speaking a little bit. So I'm sure she'll uh, welcome everybody on behalf of the admissions team also. So let's get to the expectations as a student, Dr. I believe this is either Dr. Shanti or Mindy. I believe it's you, Dr. Shanti, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And you are on mute, sorry. I know, mm -hmm. sorry about that. Um, what are your expectations? How do you expect this? First of all, you have an orientation program. Uh, we have a wonderful orientation program that is like this, but a little bit different. We have created modules, uh, what we call a modular orientation program within Moodle. So we, we deploy that, you're all enrolled in it. You can take it at your own pace. Uh, you can click on a module that you like to see first, and then you can go in and come back after one week and take another module. So the orientation is, um, is at your pace again. It gives you a lot of information and you don't have to digest it all at once. So that'll be an onboarding process with course orientation. Classes, this is critical for everybody to understand. Online programs tend to be two different ways. One of them is basically a distance learning program, which is asynchronous. And asynchronous means you post a question, the teacher answers the question, the teacher posts the question, you answer the question. And sometimes it's not in real time. It doesn't happen like what we're doing now, which is live one-on-one -on -one sessions. UBIS classes are a little different. We have synchronous face-to-face -face like this, live synchronous section, sessions where you are able to talk to the faculty member as we speak and we'll be able to exchange, discuss, exchange ideas, talk to each other, clear, clarify questions or doubts, et cetera. Now, the important thing for you to understand is that let's say you cannot make it, your boss called you on a meeting or something to that effect, which happens a lot. The recordings are available to you in Moodle so you can go back before the next session and find out what was discussed. Um, you can catch up on it very quickly. 
you have to interact with other students. As I mentioned before, this is a very enriching classroom environment. You should interact, you should come up with your ideas and try to be as much as open and tolerant as possible to different viewpoints because what you're observing or what you're absorbing is different, very different. We are a global institution and this is a global, global concept. We need to be able to get along with everybody. So have the interaction, have tolerant interaction, and absorb as much as possible within the classroom. Extracurricular activities. Eduardo will be talking a little bit more about extracurricular activities, but I'll tell you two things that happen with extracurricular activities. You get to know your fellow students and your faculty members while doing things outside of the classroom. It's fun. Yes, it's a lot of fun to interact. We do all the time. We talk to each other after work. I'm sure that some of you guys hang out after work. Similar to that, we like to have extracurricular activities where you bond with your fellow students. But there's one important thing that you have to understand about extracurricular activities. Leadership in these activities are, look really good on your resumes. It shows an employer that you have something more than just being, you know, long uh, hard work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy. It's an old British saying. Uh, I think anybody who comes from that, uh, you know, colonial part of it will, will understand that it's an old proverb says all, all work and no play make Jack a very dull boy. They like to see this. Employers like to see extracurricular activities as a way of showing that you are a rounded human being, that you can do more than just read out of a book and explain that, get the knowledge out of a book. Finally, um, Antonia, Antonina and a couple of other people will be talking about the capstone thesis preparation and defense. Um, the important thing about UBIS is that courses, all programs, you have a capstone or a dissertation, which means that you are looking at your unique viewpoint, doing research on something that you are living, and you're going to come up with a way, a method, a system, or a study that will help improve your life, the life of your community and the life of your country. So keep that in mind because we will be working towards that capstone project to the end of your program. Use that project to do something wonderful, to do something that's, that's, that's beneficial to your community and your family, first your family, your community and your country. It's critical because this is what makes lives change. This is more, what moves the world and makes it evolve. Um, grad the, the transcript and diplomas are prepared by what we call the academic jury. It's just the faculty members who get together and we have a graduation ceremony. We will be live streaming it this time around. For the first time after the pandemic started three years ago, we have a live on ground graduation ceremony in Geneva and we hope that continues. Please let's have that. Let's hope for that, that it continues. Every year we'll have a graduation ceremony where we'll all come to Geneva. We will all give our diplomas and we'll have fun and we'll celebrate your achievement, um, which is the most important thing, which is what our mission is, celebrate our students and their achievements. So thank you again for listening to us. resources available. I believe that's also you, Dr. Shanti. It's supposed to be me. Yeah. Okay. Me. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so like I said, I'm back. I'm here to let you know everything we have to support you. I'm just going to kind of piggyback on what Dr. Konopath said. Um, we are here for you. We support you. We're excited to see you. And we have built into the programs um, many things to support you. Um, I know there are different handbooks and things on the screen, but let me start with number six because it's the most important. Your teachers, your faculty. This is your first line of defense when you need help. This person is dedicated to your education. They're experts in their field and they can certainly give you the support you need. So make sure that you begin by introducing yourself to all of your teachers. Um, they are here because they love what they do and they are dedicated to your success. So be sure that your number one contact is your teacher. And like, I think it was Connie who said, 
there's no question that's done, right? Everybody is here and we show, we show up each day to answer your questions. So be sure that you contact your faculty, know your faculty, email your faculty and let them know you care about their class and that you will attend and be very, very um, engaged in what they, what they know and what they're saying to you. Um, along the same lines, all of the administration here, all of the faces you see, write down our names, save our emails, it'll pop up in your UBIS email. Uh, contact any of us. We're very proud to say we all have an open door policy. You can contact someone like the provost who is the top of the top here, um, all the way down to anybody who works here. Um, we're always have our doors open to you. Now, the other resources can be found in your Moodle classroom. So you'll be able to see links to everything that's here. We have our student handbook, which will tell you the rules and procedures to do things that you might be confused about. I know that when you show up on the first day of school or the first day of work, you may not know the rules or where to go. So we provide you with the student handbook along with the new student orientation that Dr. Konkoff mentioned. Um, that is where you find all of our rules and procedures to be um, a successful student. <coughs> You also have the thesis guidelines. If you're working on a thesis in your program, you'll be able to know exactly what is expected of you. And if you're not linked to it in your Moodle classroom, you can ask your instructor about it. They'll be glad to provide those guidelines for you. Um, your course syllabi. Now, as a lawyer, I'm going to use a technical term here called a contract. That is your contract with your teacher. And that contract will tell you exactly how you get all A's in all of your classes. Um, so be sure that you read it carefully. Again, it's linked in your Moodle classroom. You just have to click on syllabus and you can see exactly what your teachers and the school expects of you, okay? And then last but not least, the learn. Okay, it's spelled not L-E-A-R-N, but it's spelled L-I-R-N. And this is our online library, okay? They do have lots of stuff there. You click on it in the Moodle classroom, you find all kinds of resources there. You can see, um, you know, all kinds of um, articles and publications and just everything you will need to complete uh, your research while you're here. So click on it, learn how to use it, especially before you have that big assignment, go in there and kind of look around. Um, you can ask individual questions to the librarians located in the link. So explore, go through, and don't wait till an emergency comes up. Be sure that you ask and explore these things ahead of time so you have these resources waiting for you. And remember, even though it's number six here, it's really number one your teacher and the administration are here to support you. If you can't find anything and you're struggling, ask, okay? And don't forget about student services. Shout out to Eduardo. He is here to support you as a live resource as well. So thank you everybody. Write down my name, write down Dr. Konkos name. We are here and we are your support to make this a successful experience. All right, Dr. Konkov, and that is you. <laughs> that is interesting because I was wondering whether I was, I've covered a little bit, I've covered a little bit in my earlier presentation. I was wondering whether uh, Tony is here. Dr. Antonina Santanova is one of our, um, she, she's actually part of the uh, research institute. She's the director of the research institute. And we have something unique at UBIS is the research institute. We encourage, not only encourage, we want to make sure that all of our graduates, all of our students and graduate participate and do original, unique research. And it's applied research. It's something that you're not talking about, you know, the amoeba in Pacific Ocean or something like that, though it's very important. I'm not denying that, but that's not what our focus is. Our focus is business, innovation, sustainability, international studies, global issues. 
So we're talking, we're asking you to pick a topic that has impact, not only on your community, but globally. We pick a topic that you know best about because you live it and you do research on it. Now, we will assign you advisors. We will have faculty members taking you through the process, basically to guide you through what is considered, what is required, what are the protocols of the thesis of the applied research project or the capstone. However, the idea is yours, the work is yours, we are there to support you. And we are also coming up with, um, we're not coming up, we have actually gotten information on what we would like to have our students publish. So you can do original publication because we have a, we are starting a news um, uh, journal, internal journal, you can publish with conjunction with your faculty members. You can publish in whichever way you want to do, which you're comfortable with. But you can, we would like you be, be all of our students, graduates, faculty members to do original research and publish the work. And we will be talking about it extensively throughout your program because the end result is we want you to have a certain expertise or experience or skill in not only this research, but also the publication, the defense, et cetera. So you can stand up and talk about your research, your original research in front of a room full of people and get recognized for that work. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the only thing I have to add to it. You will have more on this from very different people. Oh, hey, your UBS email address. Uh... I know we have a slide just for this. Chantal, I, I think you're about to cover this one, right? Yes. Hi, everybody. Welcome again to UBIS. So you will receive or have already received an UBIS email um, to your personal email. And that email is going to give you your username and your user password. Um, we're going to have you log into that account, um, save your password, because from this point on, you're a UBA student and all of your communication via email is going to come to your school email, okay? We ask that any email that you send to us about school is done through that school email as well, okay? Um, we are going to ask that you also respect the school email. Please use it for job searches, use it for networking. Um, and, and utilize that, but let's not use it to start a Facebook account or to go on Instagram. Um, this is for professional reasons only. Um, if you have any issues getting into your UBIS email account at any point, your admissions team is here. You all are having UBIS support groups on your WhatsApp. We're here to help you. If you send us an email on your personal account, we're not going to ignore it. We're going to answer it and politely remind you <laughs> to use your school email account, um, but definitely utilize that. Once you are in your school email, um, you are going to get the, the requirements needed to get into your e-learning platform. So that's how you're going to get into Moodle. Your admissions team, we are here to assist you um, through that whole process to get in and to get acclimated in Moodle. Um, and we're here after that. So if you ever have any questions, um, please utilize that support group and we will be here to help you, okay? Thank you, Chantel. You're welcome. Okay, Moodle LMS. So I will go, I just want to make sure that we don't take that much as we are a little bit behind, but Moodle LMS, I just wanna walk through a quick walkthrough, but it is important to mention that the admissions team or student services, we will ensure that we will have a personalized walkthrough with you. If you haven't done so already, I'm sure a lot of you have at this point. So we will sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and go over every feature and benefit of the platform. However, I just want to show you a couple of different things that are important when it comes to navigating Moodle. So I will go ahead and share my screen. And you have, can you all see the UBIS website? Yes. Okay. So you have the UBIS website right here. And if for some reason you don't have 
access to a quick link, which you will. It was going to come to your email, but let's say you're using a different computer or a different device. All you need to do is go through our website, go through the online campus, and it is automatically going to take you to Moodle. It is going to give you the opportunity to use your username and password. Your username will always be your UBIS. Um, it is going to be your UBIS credential. Um, I am logged in already, so that's why you don't see the opportunity to do that. I'm also a student in the DBA program, so right now what I'm using is a test account. Um, so I don't want you to see my grades, even though they're good. Uh, you have, so you have access to basically all the courses and a couple of things that are important here. Number one, there is no excuse to miss your class. It is literally display everywhere on the platform. You can either see it here on my courses, you can either see it here on my courses, or you could also see it through the course details on your dashboard. So everywhere you are going to be able to see your course. You have access to the library here. You're able to see, obviously, every single program that we have. If you have any questions, you can go right into, I mean, also you have access right to our website. We have a feature called Turnitin. This is to avoid and to check uh, when it comes to citations and citing what um, the percentage of potential plagiarism you may have on your work. So you have the ability to do that prior to submitting an assignment. If you go to a particular class, um, let me show you on here. you'll be able to see course resources, most importantly, your syllabus, which is going to tell you exactly how you will be evaluated towards the course. Um, and every single option when it comes to your grading, contact information for your instructor, et cetera, et cetera. But also you'll be able to see the live and recorded lectures. Um, one of the beauties of UBIS is that you can see your your class live, or if you don't have time, you can always look at the recorder version, or if you are a little bit of an achiever, you have the opportunity to do it. So, um, so you have the option for your live and recorded lectures as well. Then you're gonna have literally week by week, you can go in and see your assignments all the way through week eight. Um, and again, I'm trying to do this very briefly. So if you go to week one, you have all your chapters, your discussion questions where you have the ability to introduce yourself, any supplemental activities that might be non-graded, and also anything that is related to, to the assignment or to the particular course. So for example, here, you have to do an introduction, right? very easily, all you need to do is you see the discussion question, you hit reply, submit it, and that's literally basically it. Um, very self-explanatory, you have again the ability to do your quizzes, submit papers, assignments, anything through the platform, again, uh, for the sake of time, there's a lot I would love to show you here. I just want to ensure that we cover all the information that we have today. Uh, as a lot of you have classes, I know, in a little bit. But the admissions team will give you, uh, a, will make sure that we have a personalized walkthrough to answer any questions that you may have. So on that note, back to you. Can we go to the next slide, please? Eduardo. Yes. Well, again, hello. My name is Eduardo Ortiz. I'm the Student Services Manager and Campus Director for Geneva and Barcelona. And in this opportunity, I'm going to briefly talk about student services and resources. So the first of all is the UBIS community. 
Um, we are constantly growing um, um, groups of students that are participating either through the Global Student Council or the Alumni Association. And this is a great opportunity for you to um, try different activities that might complement your experience during UBIS to make um, this, uh, this time in college more, more enlightening, more, more pleasant, to get to know more people, to connect with uh, interesting individuals that might be related to the research that you're doing. I mean, it's, it's, it's a combination of doing good network, also having good fun, and, and integrating, having some sort of, of, of sense of community, a sense of belonging. So I really encourage you during your time in UBIS to participate in activities in, uh, from the Global Student Council. And if you can become a member, that would be even better. And that also, guys, that looks very good on your resumes when you are part of these types of associations during your time in college about educational events and get togethers, online activities. Well, also through this uh, groups of alumni association and, uh, and Global Student Council, we are pushing and supporting for students to do interesting activities that might suit their, um, their expectations or might, might be interesting for them to, to participate during this time. Right now, at this moment, we have different type of activities. We are coordinating one on, on Geneva campus, which is a, a, a co-curricular activity that are also available online via Zoom, in which we are um, giving sessions on how to develop your career, tips on how to enhance the LinkedIn profile, CVs, how to hack your interviews, etc. And also, we are coordinating small breakfast, lunches, get-togethers, excursions, and also with the support of the Global Student Council, more ideas may come and the university will support and will give you um, help and, 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 and assistance to materialize this, this event. Um, for example, at this moment, we are, we, the, the Global Student Council is doing a wonderful pro project related to uh, aiding Ukrainian refugees. And um, we had wonderful events in, uh, in Geneva campus in which we kicked off the activities by collecting um, different materials and supplies for the refugees. So this is just a, a little example of, of lots of things that can be done. And the idea is for the council to work for the students. It, this, is, this is an organization by the students for the students. Also the library access, as my colleagues were mentioning, you have direct access into Moodle to learn platform. It's a wonderful resource in which you can find tons of books, articles, um, resources. Also, those of you that are, um, um, that of course all of you will have access to, to Sandgage. You have also Sandgage Unlimited in which you can have resources uh, for success, uh, for successful tips, uh, success, for, um, for your career and also tips to be successful during college. So they have two different types of, of materials there that it can be helpful either to succeed academically and also to succeed in a professional environment. Hybrid learning anytime, anywhere. That's one of the greatest things we have. You manage your own time and your own pace. So you have to be responsible and watch your time there an international presence with our partners and campuses worldwide. Well, we have almost 14 different partners around the world and you will notice that UBIS is a real global experience. So thank you very much. Um, Stella, this is you, if you can go quickly, please. Sure. So concerning the university activities, um, our university is organizing a lot of student events, activities, and entertainment for everyone. We're doing it both online and on ground. Uh, here you will see some perfect examples. The first one is online, is uh, Sunday colloquiums that are organized every Sunday, and you can participate and become um, a part of it. It's organized by Dr. Antonina Santalova and uh, it's very, very highly recommended to participate in it. 
there are a lot of various topics energy industry gender roles global trends business sustainability future trends and uh, strategy in digital market marketing and many many more others it's a great chance to meet your classmates your colleagues and wonderful uh, speakers then, as my colleague Eduardo already mentioned, we have UB Student Council. They organize uh, as well both online and on ground. And Eduardo already mentioned the perfect example was last week, the, um, the event that was dedicated to International um, Independence Day of Ukraine, 24th of August. And we organize a, a very, very nice event on campus on ground. And of course, we have uh, events on ground. Um, this week we're organizing a breakfast on ground for our new stu students and actual students of the university. We're organizing a pizza party on Wednesday and small orientation day for new students. And this September we will have some surprises and some nice events such as picnic and um, a Geneva excursion. Before we already did um, uh, International Day, uh, Swiss Day, uh, graduation, summer camps, uh, different excursions, UN Vipo visits, and various museums. Patek Philippe, uh, uh, History Geneva Museums, and many, many more others. I think it's the next slide. Yeah. So uh, uh, before we organized guest lectures, uh, UN, um, UN excursions, VIPO visits, uh, various on-campus activities, uh, caterings, and international days. Um, and in addition to that, um, uh, sorry, Raf, next slide. Abilita uh, Nicole, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Nicole or, or Tony? Nicole, uh, that's your right. Mm -hmm. She's on mute. Go on, go on, go ahead, Stella, if you want. Okay. So in addition to that, um, uh, every year we're organizing uh, two in-person networking seminars each year. Uh, we did already one in May. 2022 in Geneva, Switzerland. It was also managed by Dr. Santalova. Uh, and the upcoming one will come in October 2022. It will be organized in uh, Strasbourg in France. Uh, and the uh, conference is dedicated to leadership. So if any one of you would like to participate or become a part of it, you can contact the university or Dr. Santalova or me. Thank you, Stella. These are great events, uh, team, that definitely we want you to be a part of and embrace globalization. Uh, we have our events in Geneva, Barcelona, France, uh, soon London, New York. So we're definitely excited for these excursions and activities that we have going on. Um, when it comes to career services, I just want to mention it real quick. We have a career services department. So um, it's digital all over the world where we will help you with anything in our power, as we have shown uh, throughout this presentation, to assist you with any requests that you may have. We can go to. And next one, you will have access to Sengage at Job Teaser, which will go over in your personalized walkthrough. And last but not least is graduation. But before I go over graduation, speaking of the graduation subject, I actually want to introduce um another faculty member who i know a lot of you are actually in her class and if you're not in her class right now you will definitely have an opportunity to meet her she's a very um special person here at the U.S. family is dr carol summers so carol if i can give you an opportunity to introduce yourself real quick. You also have a lot of your students here today. So um, that throughout any cl classes. So if you could share any words of wisdom or welcome our students, that would be fantastic. Great, welcome. First of all, I just wanna say welcome to all the new students in class. I'm super excited if you're gonna be in my class that's starting in uh, just a few minutes, right? So I look forward to uh, working with all of you now or in the future. Um, I have been working with UBIS for almost, for about a year and a half now. 
and teaching a lot of the different uh, undergraduate, graduate, and doctorate level classes in management, human resources, strategy. Those are the type of classes that I teach. Um, from an academic background, I have an undergraduate degree in finance. I too went studying in a different country. I studied in Ireland for my graduate degree and um, I have a PhD in business. So I'm super excited. I love being part of the UBIS family and I uh, really enjoy having um, students from all over the world in the class. And because of that, we get a lot of great discussions and a lot of comparing and contrasting going on um, of business practices around the world, which help, helps all of us become more informed. Um, and my words of wisdom. That's good. That's good, Raph. <laughs> my words of wisdom. I, you know, I always say, um, you know, you take it one step at a time. I was a full-time worker going through college at all stages of my education. And um, I think you just have to take it one day at a time <clears throat> and make sure that you have a no excuses. I see the no excuses here in the graduation. If you want to reach graduation, sometimes you got to stay up late. You got to sacrifice the night out, but the hard work is worth it. And you come to class each week, you share your success, what you've discovered, and we keep learning from each other. Each week, you have an opportunity to jump on into a live class twice a week, right? And so that can keep you motivated. So I would my words of wisdom is to stay engaged and attend class because it reminds you <laughs> that you're, you know, you let a week go without coming to class. We miss you and you disengage from the content for the, for the week. And it helps, you know, so come to class. We'd love to see you in class and we love to, to um, hear from you, share your experience and apply the material to both your uh, culture and to your uh, own personal experiences. So thank you so much for having me. Did anyone have any questions or Raf, did you want me to share anything else? No, I don't believe so. So for those uh, <laughs> that are going to the live lecture, you'll see Dr. Summers in the next five minutes. So yeah. have fun. <laughs> then you'll have more than enough of me over there on the other uh, side. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All yeah. right, guys. So to conclude, before you know it, you will be graduating. Trust me, it goes back pretty quick. So as we have shared with you, uh, excellent attendance is important. Ask questions, communicate, enjoy your experience. Make sure you have positive dedication, determination. Um, most importantly, as we said here, no excuses. But again, enjoy your experience, embrace globalization. This is what this is all about. Uh, make friends, travel. The world is your campus. So we're definitely, again, very excited um, to embark in this journey with you. Um, we'll see here there are additional questions. I know there is a class coming up in a little bit for those that are planning to attend a live lecture. Others, you can still view the recording or again, you can always do both. But we are here to answer any additional questions. So on that note, let's go ahead and start your Q&A. You can use um, the chat box or you can just simply raise your hand um, and basically go from there. So we are here. You have a really good audience to get all your questions answered. So let's go ahead and why don't we stop sharing the presentation so we can see each other's faces. Um, maybe take a picture too. Those that are not on camera, if you want to be on camera, let's go ahead so we can take a picture of the August <laughs> class. Um, so what questions do you all have? If there's any. So again, I'm going to be looking at the chat box and I'm also going to be looking if anyone raises their hand which I don't see. Raf, I have a student from Afghanistan who would like to say hello. His name is Arfan. Am I okay. pronouncing correctly, Arfan? Yeah. Hello, Arfan. Uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, hello, Farhan. I am Qutbullah Arfan from uh, Afghanistan, a new student of uh, a master's degree at UBIS University. Now I live in Afghanistan country, but uh, I am so happy that I have you, that you are, uh, that 
uh, you are my classmate. That's uh, I am so happy. I like all of you. That uh, uh, my speaking English is a little a little weak, okay? But uh, because in Afghanistan uh, there is not um, uh, good networking. And there is not uh, exist uh, English course, but uh, as you know better, well, what's the situation of Afghanistan? You know, uh, mm -hmm. Afghanistan is the situation so bad. Okay. Great. Uh, well, I want you that all of you cooperate me uh, and encourage me to continue, prolong my uh, license. Okay. Absolutely welcome. It is it is a pleasure to get to know you, Orphan. Um, and welcome welcome to the U.S. family. Thank you, thank you so much for speaking today. We we are excited to get to know you, and see you at our graduation. And obviously, we pray for the people of Afghanistan. And uh, definitely, uh, we're here for you. Thanks a lot for you. All right. So, are there any other questions? I think we answered everything and I think, think the so? admissions team did a fantastic job walking everybody into their Moodle platforms and we will be supporting each and every one of you throughout this week and throughout your entire journey at UBIS. All right so with that being said last but not least uh we can go back to the presentation and use uh and go through the last slide but please the next next steps if you don't mind okay so for those that saw me at the roundtable event, we went over this too. It is important that you complete your final admissions requirements if you haven't done so. I believe the majority of the people here have done it. But if you haven't done so, please do it. Admission, admissions team will be calling you. That way we can ensure that you receive your UBIS credentials. You have your, you, um, your, your UBIS credentials such as your email, your Moodle, which is a learning management system, our library, your acceptance letter, your course mapping and action plan, and also your student ID. For those that haven't done so, go ahead, strike a post, send us your picture. We want to send you your student ID so you can be official and show your family and friends that you are a Yuga student. So on that note, thank you everyone. Congratulations again. Welcome to the Yuga family. Very excited. Uh, for you to be part of our team and, and be part and be part of UBIS. Hope we have the opportunity to meet face to face soon. And thank you very much. For those that have class shortly, enjoy it. Ask questions. You are in great hands with Dr. Sommer. It's fantastic. Thank you, everyone. All right, you guys log off here and see you over there. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Welcome to UBIS. Bye-bye.